Hello, welcome to Bagre TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Patrice Talon. Patrice Talon, popularly known as the King of Cotton, is a businessman and president of Benin Republic. He has been president since April 6, 2016. Talon was born on May 1, 1958, to a father who is from Oida and his mother from Gwedegbe family in Abome. Talon grew up in the country's capital. After his secondary education, he studied at the University of Dakar and he tried to pursue a dream as a pilot, attempting the transfer to Paris National School of Civil Aviation. Talon won the pilot contest by Africa Air. He passed the entrance exams, but it didn't work out for him as a failed medical test. He had to forget about being a pilot. He had his first breakthrough in business in 1983 from packaging agricultural inputs. By 1985, he created the Intercontinental Distribution Company, which provided agricultural services to cotton farmers. In 1990, the World Bank advised the country to privatize cotton production. It was during this period that he won bids for three cotton factories in Benin. His business presence has been felt in most African countries, including Ivory Coast and Burkina Faso. Talon started getting involved with politics, where he sponsored the campaigns of President Yayi Boni in 2006 and 2011. In 2008, he won another bid for the privatization of the cotton division, Sonapra, and some people believed he won the bid as a reward for supporting Yayi. Two months before Yayi's re-election, Talon won another bid, allowing him to manage the tariffs of Cotonou Sports, which annual budget is equivalent to that of the government. He fled the country to France, where he was accused of tax evasion and being a part of a plot to kill Boni in 2012. He was pardoned in 2014. Patrick Stallone contested as an independent candidate in March 2016 presidential elections, but he finished second in the first round to Prime Minister Lionel Zinso. In the second round, Talon won 65% of the votes, with Lionel Zinso considering defeat in the night of the election. So many people are of the opinion that as a successful businessman, he will create job opportunities in the country. Another major factor in his campaign promises was that he was going to create a single term of five years, so that when the candidate finishes one term, he steps aside. He was sworn in on April 6, 2016. On April 4, 2017, he sent in a bill to limit presidential term to a single six year, but the bill only had 60 votes in the 83 member National Assembly, falling short of 63 votes needed for passage. He didn't hide his disappointment, but promised to respect the decision. And it is unclear if he will seek re-election in 2021. Patty Salon is married to Claudine and they have two children. His estimated net worth is about 410 million US dollars. What's your take on Talon as a Beninese businessman and politician? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.